Hi everyone, this is Andrea from the Art and Nature Center. And for today's project, we're gonna be using specific types of leaves to create our artwork. Now I'm outside exploring the trees around me and I am looking specifically at trees that are deciduous, which means they're the types of trees that drop their leaves seasonally. Now it's still kind of early in the season, but you can begin to see those types of trees. Um, their leaves change colors. These ones here are kind of yellowing and getting bits of beautiful oranges, and then they'll eventually get some reds. Um, around where I'm collecting, there are mostly oak trees. Now when you're out collecting and exploring, um, if you're interested in the different types of trees that you're collecting from, if you download the iNaturalist app to any mobile device, you'll be able to explore and discover not only trees, but all different types of nature around you. All right, now that we've had some fun collecting our leaves outside, let's continue that fun by making some art with them. I think I'm gonna start with this really big, beautiful leaf. So the first one is we're gonna print with the leaves, and then the second process, we're gonna paint with them. So for the first one, we're gonna use just some craft markers. They're really gonna work the best because they'll stay nice and wet on your leaf for a long period of time. So in this print process, we are going to be looking at the beautiful textures and lines that the leaves have on the veins. So just grab whatever colorful markers you would like and on the inside of the leaf, you're gonna start coloring it in wherever and as much as you want. You can also create sort of a color ombre also, which I think I'll do with this one because it's, it's just so big. I'm gonna stay in the same color family and continue with a purple. If you use multiple colors on a leaf, we also wanna think about our color wheel and which colors mix and blend well together, unless you really want to mix contrasting colors and create a brown, it's totally up to you. All right, so I have my piece of paper. You can do it on whatever kind of paper you've got. I'm gonna flip my leaf and just press it down, trying to keep it as still as possible. It's so cool. So you can see all those really cool textures and veins that happen in the different leaves. And you can print as many colors and layer them on there however you want. Reuse the same leaf with different colors. Get, like, maybe I can add some smaller prints in there. Really, really play with your colors and your leaf textures when you're layering. All right, now for the painting process, we're gonna be looking at the different shapes of leaves. So right now I have a few different, really interesting shaped leaves spread out on my piece of paper. So the next step is, is optional. When you paint, you can just use your fingers to hold your leaves down, but I think it's a little bit easier to use either some painter's tape or masking tape and just roll it up and keep your leaves in place. All right, so I already have some paint poured out on my palette. I kind of just wanted to stick with the nice fall themed colors that you can already kind of see some of my leaves have changed into. You could use a regular brush or a sponge brush and dipping it in the paint and continuing that dabbing around your leaves. But I like to use a pretty decent size brush for stippling. A little bit more up over on this leaf. You can use, you know, whatever type of paint you have on hand. I am using just like a simple craft acrylic right now, but tempera and even watercolor 
works great. So I'm gonna switch colors. So I'm just using a paper towel, which doesn't have to be super clean. If you want your colors to be separated, then yeah, definitely have a bowl of water to completely clean your brush off. But I want a nice blended look. So like I mentioned, I just went with fall colors that are definitely in the same color scheme. These are all warm colors. Since we're blending our colors, we again just want to think about our color wheel and what colors either mix well together or go well next to each other because they're in the same color family. All right, I think I'm ready to reveal our first layer of leaf shapes. That's really cool. And this one had a little insect bite. So that is our first layer. You can leave it like that or add some really cool layered shapes by placing more leaves on top of that and doing your stippling around it with another color, which is what I'm going to do. So and I like to overlap in, in a kind of interesting way. Again, don't have to worry too much about it being dry. All right, so for the second layer, I like to do it a little bit closer in to each leaf when I'm stippling, and I like to, to make it a bolder color so that it really pops. So that's why I saved the really bright red for this. And I'm just gonna stick close into these leaves. You can kind of think of the first layer as a background layer and then the second as an outline and I mean if you want you can even do a third layer after this but I think just the two layers is very satisfying and creates really cool interesting leaf shapes so let's peel these up and reveal what we got all right so there is our double layer painted leaf project where we're really looking at the different shapes that leaves can make and we added more intrigue to that by by layering them and creating our own new shapes within those. Our first project was the printing so we could see the really cool veins and textures that are inside of our leaves and you can see I added even more from the first part of the video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you experiment and enjoy this leaf project and please share your art with us. Thank you.